Hello everyone. My name is P. Smith. Today I'm going to be presenting to you my newest material to my collection. Um, thank you for viewing my video. Um, I'm back again to present new material. Um, I hope you like it. First card. This is a 1994 Flare Ultra Dark Phoenix. And for those who um, remember her, she's a villain. But <clears throat> she wasn't originally a villain. She's actually Jean Grey. But when a woman is fed up, they possess dark phoenix like qualities so I would not consider her completely a villain she's just to be left alone and she's to be allowed because she's one of the most powerful mutants in Marvel she's majestic she's powerful she's dominant she possesses qualities that that's within every leader but she's not to be played around with um, Dark Phoenix and I rise to maybe the late 70s going into the 80s um, she was um, considered a villain but but she's um, very original character. Next card would be Cyclops. Cyclops is uh, the, one of the first X-Men. He was created by Stan Lee in the 60s. Um, with the help of others, they made X-Men one of the most popular comic books of all time. Um, Cyclops is the leader of the X-Men. Um, his brother is Alex Summers. Um, his son in the future is Cable. His daughter is Phoenix. And he was married to Jane Grey. In the movie... Jean Grey's Dark Phoenix killed him. But in a comic book, it went differently. <laughs> so, this is a 95 Fleur Ultra, very original card, very vivid artwork. Next card will go to him again. This is also a 95 Fleur Ultra. This is one of my favorite cards here. This card puts you right up close and personal with the living legend himself. And he's also with the original X-Men team. One of the first recruits. Next we'll go to Spider-Man, Cosmic Spider-Man. Very popular. Um, character from the 60s, I believe. Um, it's not much to add to Spider-Man. I mean, he's one of the most popular Marvel um, comic characters in hologram form. Right here. This is a very vintage card. Um, and it brings out details in Spider-Man. Spider-Man is Peter Parker. He's well known. Um, he's very popular. And he's also a cool character. Next we'll go to Silver Surfer. Um, 
for individuals who watch the Avengers and um, Fantastic Four, and you would know a little bit about the Silver Surfer. Um, a brief history about him. Um, he used to work with Galactus, but Galactus angered him, and the Silver Surfer rebelled, and he defeated him. And even to this day, the Silver Surfer works alone, protecting the world from, from Galactus, or any threat from Galactus, because Galactus feeds on worlds, and Silver Surfer is, you know, he vowed to protect the world from, from that threat. Silver Surfer is um, one of the most popular Marvel comic characters. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go to the Magneto. A brief summary. Magneto was one of the original villains in the X-Men. He has the power to control um, metal. Um, he's uh, a friend of Professor Xavier, but he's not really a villain because Magneto only wants to pursue mutant rights along with human rights and if Magneto could combine with the X-Men they would be unstoppable Magneto is a part of the Brotherhood he's the leader of the the considered evil mutants but he plays a key part in the X-Men and has a very important role the Magneto next card would go to the Wolverine Wolverine was originally a part, a part of the I believe the government the military um, his brother is Sabretooth his real name is Logan Wolverine was a part of um, a Weapon X program that that you know performed an experiment on him, which made his bones adamantium, which made him um, invincible to damage. You could shoot him. He would heal from it. Um, his claws expand and contract from his hands. He is one of the most important X-Men due to his um, skills and combat and his military knowledge. Wolverine did not enter the picture in the X-Men till maybe the late 70s but he plays a very important role alongside the X-Men and is one of the most important Marvel characters next ladies and gentlemen we'll go to Spider-Man for his Green Goblin it's a very popular fight um, from the movie Spider-Man 1 they both fought Spider-Man is very smart he builds strategy um, Spider-Man often dis displays tactics of his own uh, to get at the enemy and Green Goblin is very smart himself um, he builds his own technology um, he's pretty much 
Arch Enemy to Spider-Man. But the Spider-Man is original, so nothing can beat him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is my time. I'm B. Smith. I'd like to thank you for viewing my video once again. I'd like to thank you too for allowing me to come here and to share my material with others. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your day. Show kindness and love to others, and it will be shown back. P E A C E. B. Smith signing out. Peace.